Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my playthrough of week four of the Reaper's Reward event. And if you're returning from week three, welcome back. And this week we're going to earn the life and death tattoo and show off our appreciation for the macabre. So the week's quest rewards are the metallic freezer bony, the life and death tattoo, inspired potion, portrait of Lady Mimsy Alcorn Shallow Shallot in the garden and fishing volume two tackles and techniques. So the book and the potion will just be for the save. The other ones will be things that we'll actually physically have to get if we want them, but they'll be unlocked across all saves. So let's go take a look at the actual, you know, schedule for the week. So here we are. We can earn up to 500 points per each. So we've got death's favorite flower. The next ingredient must bloom from your garden. And then we have flirting with death. This research has brought you closer to death than you ever expected. And then if we scroll a little bit forward, we're like seeing the stuff we've already unlocked. <laughs> so here we go. So we've got, here's that freezer, uh, metallic freezer bony. There's the potion. I skipped over the tattoo. So the things are in order. And so everything, that's it for this week. And then the top is going to be next week. And you can see that it's next week because it's still locked. So everything else beyond that is going to be locked. I'm just trying to look and see. So we do get the death flower. That's what that looks like. Uh, I'm guessing. So anyways, we're going to close this. And I am going to go into our save. And I'll be back when I get it started. So we're here and we have the pop-up Reaper's Rewards Week 4. It just so happens that the next ingredient is my favorite flower, the death flower. Complete the quest, death's favorite flower, and flirting with death. It's time to, for you to nurture a death flower to life. So, fun fact, the death flower was added to the game when ghosts were added to the game, which wasn't in the game at launch, but was added very shortly after the game launched. But anyways, I thought that was funny. So we have here... Death's favorite flower, research ambrosia on your phone, a tablet, or a computer. And there must be more information somewhere out there. Research ambrosia from the home app on the phone or, res or select the research ambrosia interaction on a computer or tablet. And then we have to talk to three plants, select a plant in your garden to talk to it. And then it showed also obviously the event points that we got for it. Then this one here is flirting with death. We have to wait again for the Ambrosia Society newsletter. It's coming. Wait for the mail to get delivered, or you can expedite your mail from the home app on your phone. Okay. Flirt or socialize with the Grim Reaper. Summon the Grim Reaper by using the Grimophone, and flirt or socialize with the Grim Reaper will do socialize because we are in a relationship. We're married, actually. Both of them. And uh, fulfill an aspiration goal. Complete any aspiration goal. Open the aspiration panel to see your Sims goals or pick a new aspiration. Okay, why don't we research Ambrosia? You're not really doing anything, so you can do the researching. So let's come in here and research Ambrosia right there. Very easy. Let's take a look at the phone. Uh, was it under the home? I think it was under home. Let's see. <laughs> look again. <laughs> Let's see, and there it is. We can expedite the mail delivery. I'm curious if it's on the mailbox. It is, it wasn't last week. <laughs> Cause I remember looking and not seeing it. But we have it this week, so yay. Don't talk to JR, you need to research your ambrosia. And you, how much longer is it gonna take you? You, you don't need to write in your journal, you just go to school. <laughs> Just go off to school. And maybe we'll be finished this before the day is over. Before you come home from school. I turned aging off because I didn't want to get, like, the infants aging up. The, the newborns aging up the infants. Okay. We're still waiting for her to finish this. She's almost done. Let's go a bit faster. Okay, she got her work done. She can go to school. Okay, so what did we get? Did we get a pop-up? The death flower is the Grim Reaper's favorite flower. If you offer it when a sim is dying, the Grim Reaper will allow the dying sim to continue living. It can be grown by grafting a pomegranate to an orchid, which I've already done. Okay, so we have to obtain, oh, we have to obtain a death flower? 
Something this. Or order oh, from the home app. Oh, okay. Normally you can't just order it. From the home app. Order a death flower. Well, that's an easy way to get it. Um, let's just check if we can harvest our death flower. <laughs> let's harvest the death flower. If that'll count, because we have one already. Um, but then we don't have to spend that. Yeah, we got that. Oh, I should have looked at what it... Well, I did it probably, because it said you could order it on the thing. You've earned enough event points to claim a reward. Oh, we're not going to bother. Talk to three plants. Well, why don't we talk to the death flower? Um, talk to the plant. Let's do that. And then we'll talk to... Is this the pomegranate? Yeah, it's only normal. We'll talk to it. And talk to plant. And then where's our orchid? I don't remember. Because <laughs> I know we have one. We have to. Oh, this is a splice plant. That's orchid, death flower, and pomegranate. Maybe that was our orchid. So we're going to... It only has death flowers on it. Okay. Interesting. We'll talk to it too. Talk to plant. So we're getting the three plants. That's all it said. <laughs> Let's just talk to them. It's not the quickest thing to do. Oh, we have a crying baby. Are you done? No, you're still. Are you still doing? He has a task to make a virus. Okay. Uh, I don't see it already diaper, so why don't we just do super efficient newborn care? I'll stop making that. And let's go check in on her. So she, oh, she's going to go look after the crime baby. We'll see who gets her. Oh, we got mail, so maybe there's our Ambrosia newsletter. We got a chick that hatched. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> this talking to plants takes a very long time. When you don't have it fast forwarded. Okay. Ah, the death flower, my absolute favorite. River reward event points. One more ingredient to go. Oh, the youth potion, right. Okay, so we got that one done. So we, now we need to read the Ambrosia Society newsletter because it should have arrived here. So we're going to get the mail. I think I already told you don't need to look after the baby, it's been looked after. Is this broken? Nope. But maybe it was broken from the ghosts. We have so many ghosts. Is this, this is broken. Okay, why don't you come here and repair that? And do you have a call coming in? Oh, I thought you did. Okay, we're gonna go fast because you're taking a really long time getting to this mailbox. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> Seriously, why are you taking so long? Uh, do you need to be reset? Are these in your way? Let's move those. Can you come over? Like, you got there, so why you can't get out? Oh, another baby's crying. Okay, I guess... <laughs> I guess that's... a super efficient newborn care of this baby. And we'll stop that. I think she just needs to be reset, because she seems to be kind of frozen. Okay, can you super efficient newborn care? Okay. All right. So you're good. Hopefully. All right. Let's get out here. Let's transport late there since you seem to be stuck over there. Maybe we can get out there first. Are you having a bath? Yes, you are. Okay, now let's try and get that mail. <laughs> and... There's the Ambrosia Society new newsletter, which says, It's here. Select your mailbox. Can get mail. Select the Ambrosia. We've been through this before, right? we got to read it. <laughs> We've done it before. Every week, I think, we have to do this. So this week, the death flower should be just within reach. While you're waiting for it to grow, make sure you continue working on your cooking and gourmet cooking skills. They will come in handy when you're ready, when you're eventually ready to cook Ambrosia, which we already have maxed. She's maxed it. Cook a recipe while level 7 or higher. You'll need to know how to cook to make ambrosia. Level up your cooking skill at the fridge, stove, or even a TV. Then cook a recipe. Okay. 
Well, why don't we summon the Grim Reaper? We're going to come down here and not offer a seductive... We're, that's, we're, we're going to be on track. We're going to summon the Grim Reaper like we need to do. And let's check your aspirations. Uh, we could cook. Well, let's... While at level... Well, let's cook grilled cheese since we need to do that for that. So we're going to serve lunch. And we're going to do grilled cheese because you need to cook gr group servings. And then we're going to look for the Grim Reaper who's going to be outside somewhere. You know what? JR, you can socialize. Why don't you ask to hang out? You're not doing what I... I didn't ask you to do that. You did that on your own. So you can come talk to the Grim Reaper. And discuss crystal properties. Let's see what he... If he tells us about the crystal that can save your life. They're all kind of slow. So, so. So, so. Okay, so we got that done and fulfill. We already did this. We didn't do this. We already read it. Is what I mean. <laughs> we did it. So all we had to do is socialize. So we're gonna do that. Whatever it was. Talk about grilled cheese. We're not at that stage yet. Hoping for twins or triplets. Okay, so she got her aspiration goal done because she got to make. Now she has to make cook a gourmet cooking recipe. While at level four or higher. So Ambrosia is considered gourmet. Level up your gourmet cooking skill by using the fridge or stove. So we're going to go do that with her. Since she's... I, I'm not going to put that in the fridge sometimes. <laughs> My grilled cheese caused me problems. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. So we're going to cook a gourmet meal. We're going to make baked Alaska. Because we can sell that on the, the food stand. And that should, I'm thinking, maybe be it. I would think we would have earned some more points. <laughs> now we're just waiting for her to cook. And this should hopefully count because that's like a level 9 or 10 thing that I just asked her to make. I can't remember which, but it's high. There we go. Flirting with death is still showing there, but uh, maybe all this, maybe after all this research is done, we can catch a movie or something. Reward event points. Keep working on your aspiration to gain satisfaction points. Well, that we have a lot of. It did finish off. We have 28,360. <laughs> we have a lot. So we got through the first week. I think it was just before eight, and now it's just before two. So it didn't take even very long in game hours to do it. So. And that's uh, the Starborn Freezer Bunny. So that's not the Bony. That's not the new one. I think I put them somewhere. I feel like I put them up somewhere, but I think you don't see them. Yeah, here they are. So there's the Starborn one, and that's the Sugar Skull. But I thought the last weeks we actually did get those, but I'm not seeing it here in our inventory, so I will just have to buy it if I need to. And let's put this out there. And I will uh, take her into create a sim when the others are back from school and we will see uh, the tattoo. And I'm thinking that's, and we'll I'll also get the picture out and take a look for the freezer bony. So I'll be back when we're at that stage. It's a little later and we're going to actually claim the rewards because we haven't done that yet. So we have... should be all the way up to the top. I'm just watching it slowly climb up. <laughs> and so then with the next one it says 120 points, but we need it. That'll be next week, which of course we can't see that. So we got the metallic freezer bony, a freezer bony so shiny you can see your reflection in it, assuming you have one. <laughs> uh, the life and death tattoo in Create a Sim. Potion. Portrait of Lady Mimsy Alcorn Shallot in the garden. So I think that one looks like it has smoke coming off of it. And then fishing, which I don't know that any of us need. Maybe JR does. And that's it. We should have everything claimed. So we'll close that, and now that freezer bony should be in our inventory. If I, because I'm pretty sure we got it. The, yeah, there it is. So there's the metallic one. We will put it up on the shelf. 
I can't say that I really noticed the metallic on it, but anyways. And then we're going to get the pitcher. Let's take a look. We're going to go, I'm assuming it's under paintings and posters. And we're going to filter by event rewards. And then how and it comes in six different frame. It is massive. Okay, well, we, I guess we'll keep it. You can size. Let's see what it looks like size down. It does, I think it sizes down okay. But we won't size it down. We'll keep it full size. <laughs> Massive. <laughs> we'll keep it at the full size for now. How much was that? 485. Portrait of Lady Mimsy Alcorn Shallot in the Garden from the Reaper's Reward event. A portrait of Lady Mimsy Alcorn Shallot enjoying an afternoon in the gardens of the Von Haunt estate. Some people say they're, they've seen the painting move, but that's probably just an urban legend, right? Okay. And then I'm going to take her into Create a Sim. We'll take a look at the tattoo. So we're in Create a Sim, and here is the tattoo. So it's uh, the Grim Reaper and kind of looks like a butterfly but maybe it's a death flower i'm not really sure but this is where you can find it sort of down near the bottom well not really but i guess it's halfway there's a lot of tattoos when you have all the packs unfortunately you can't filter for this one but it does have the little icon on it so you can see it that way so I'm going to go back to live mode. We're going to take a look at that painting and see how it goes. So here we are and we are going to view it and see what happens with that. If anything, if we get a moonlight, we see some smoke, which I think I've heard, which is why I loved it the full size, just to like take a look at it in the full size. I think I would probably normally size it down. So it wasn't so massive. Oh, it's not supposed to, it's supposed to move is what it's supposed to do. Hmm. I wonder how long you'd have to look at. Maybe you don't have to look. Maybe it doesn't move when you, oh, oh, there, there. There we go. And there's little green coming down. So there it's moving and we have a ghost. Let's see if it moves again. Did she get a mood lap from it? Oh, did that just move from viewing Portrait of Lady Mimsy Alconchal in the garden? Gemma isn't sure, but did that painting just move? <laughs> okay, oh, and there it's back to the... I didn't notice the green down the first in the first place. Maybe I'll notice, <laughs> I'll notice when I'm editing whether I saw it there. <laughs> oh, uh... oh, yeah, the green is moving. It's moving away. Okay, so it is moving away back to how it was. And then is it going to have the green come back down again? Or is that happen when you look at it? Now I'm curious. I see a crying baby. She can look after her baby. <laughs> She's max of parenting school. She should be able to look after the baby without me telling her what to do. <laughs> okay, well I'm not seeing it do anything, but... It did while we looked at it for sure. You'll have to let me know if you notice it doing stuff when no one was looking at it or if it just seems to do that when things are looking at it. But we're going to leave this part here. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!